good morning. Just woke up not too long ago. Had a good night's sleep. The night before, I didn't sleep that great, but I was glad I was able to sleep good last night. Starting to get used to my sleeping setup, of course. Found a really good sleeping spot last night. Nothing too special. It's just on the in this bend of a curve on this Forest Service road that I was climbing yesterday. I've probably been on this Forest Service road for, I don't know, 30, 40 minutes yesterday. Just winding up along the mountains in here. Uh, as far as where I'm at, I'm actually on the tip of, just about the tip of North Carolina, you know, around Cherokee in that area. Just up the road from uh, where you're looking is the Appalachian Trail about mm, two minutes away. Uh, and from there, we have probably another, I'd say 30, 20 to 30 minutes worth of driving to get to uh, the Tennessee line. And then from there, of course, once we get into Tennessee, it'll go down into uh, Chattanooga, Tennessee. And then from there, it goes into Georgia, then comes back up into Tennessee. And I think that'll probably be a full full day's driving, really. So we'll see what that brings. So yeah, let's get to it. Looks like I just made it to pavement. I've only been driving maybe 10 minutes. I figured it was gonna be about anywhere 20, 30 minutes to before finding any form of asphalt again. But as I went over and started going down the other side of the mountain, I was kind of surprised of how many houses I was starting to see. Because coming up on the other side, there was nothing. You know, just power lines, all right? But as soon as I go over the uh, mountain right there and start going down the other side, house after house after house, and then Here's the road. So, well, that makes for easier driving, so let's keep rolling. Check this out. I ended up missing my turn a minute ago and coming across this little pull off that has this, uh, has the river going down through here, and it's got this little waterfall that I thought would be interesting to look at. Because it, it is straight up and down in here. No cell service either. Everywhere I go, I find something else to film. So I just made my turn, and here's another waterfall that's a little harder to see on camera, but it's up in there. And actually, this is just a uh, a small little chute, or you know, another stream, or creek, whatever you want to call it, that's actually feeding onto the bigger river over here. I guess that'd be a small river, but I found that kind of interesting, so. All right, let's continue on this uh, gravel road and see where it ends up at. Check this out. I don't know if you can see it or not, but there is a, what looks like a pipeline running through the middle of the woods. Uh, I don't know if that's the gas pipeline. Uh, it depends where I'm at really on the map. But um, anyways, I thought that was kind of interesting that in the middle of the woods next to this river. All right, so I ended up driving like literally 30 seconds since the last time, I, since just a second ago. And here's this pipeline. This has to be a gas pipeline or something. It would be water, it wouldn't make no sense for that. Yeah. I'm not exactly sure where the gas pipeline runs through. Uh, like, I think it's right around like Tennessee, Georgia, North Carolina, I want to say. But this has to be that that or it's something else that I don't know about. But anyways, I thought this was kind of cool.
this is just after getting gas, uh, probably about 20 minutes ago now. I've been on this uh, Forest Service Road for, uh, like I said, about 20 minutes now. And uh, what's interesting to me is when we get onto Forest Service Roads like these, where it turns into just, you know, a gravel road and nothing else around, I, there's nobody. I, I haven't seen another vehicle. Uh, I, you know, this is part of the Trans American Trail, so you see other tire tracks, which are probably from them, but you don't see any locals or anything like that. And when I was about to turn onto this road, um, it went by this guy's house that had a bunch of firewood. I didn't get any footage of it, but, uh, but it didn't even feel like part of the part of the um, Forest Service Road. It just felt like I, I was turning into someone's driveway. So, but, you know, once you get out of here onto this, and I was looking at my uh, GPS tracks, and it's still, you know, probably another 20, 30 minutes worth of driving like this before we get to the, another the next section. Whether that's, you know, some back roads or what, you don't know yet. So I've still been driving on the same road for going on probably about an hour an hour and 20 minutes roughly uh still not even, even off of it yet but it's finally smoothed out a bit to where it's just now kind of like you know backcountry gravel instead of like off-road gravel roads uh there was a couple of sections where it was getting pretty rough um nothing technical just um big you know like a two to three inch size like you know gravel that's you could go real slow over else jar you you know out of the seat so I'm glad to be able to be on some smoother roads again. And it still looks like from looking at a GPS that uh, it's probably still another 20 minutes or so to maybe to the next section. Uh, it's going to come out next to a lake. Um, I have to look exactly what lake it's coming out next to. Um, but we'll see what it looks like then. Made it back to asphalt finally. That was uh, not that far of a drive as far as mileage goes. Probably like, I don't know, 16, 17 miles. Uh, roughly in total, which isn't really that far, but it's uh, pretty far when you're going a couple mile an hour kind of deal. So finally back to the road. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to get to see the lake, but uh, the lake up here is Santitha. So that's still a, a good ways away, it looks like on the GPS, but at least I made it back to asphalt. Looks like it's going to rain for a little bit. Just ran into this uh, little bit of a thunder shower. Roads are still fine. You know, had some uh, back lane roads and then mostly uh, got onto more forest service roads. And I haven't run into anything yet that's very uh, technical or complicated as far as off-road driving. It's mostly like this, uh, with the exception of earlier today where it was pretty rough, a little, uh, little rougher as far as uh, how smooth the road was. But for the most part, it's been like this the whole time. Looks like it's gonna rain again. This time it looks like it's gonna rain pretty hard. I got the uh, windshield whoppers on high, or not full speed, but it's raining pretty good. And there's a lot of uh, water running off and uh, big puddles. I don't know how deep they are. Like this one, deep enough. So. But still, again, nothing technical. Just gravel roads with potholes and uh, water running off. I just had a thought. It's starting to feel more and more like uh, like Jurassic Park through here. But, like the vegetation keeps encroaching on the road and it's not as well kept and there's uh, stuff like this that's kind of hanging in the road itself. And then you have, uh, look at this right here, where it's a bridge and like signs, kind of like the Jurassic Park movie where you don't know which way, <laughs> which way to go and it's pouring rain. <laughs> uh, but I do and it's, it's continuing the same way, so. But I just thought that was that was funny and uh, interesting. So,
I was going to talk about, you know, later on was I, I had a motorcycle pass me out here. You know, like an adventure bike, kind of like uh, you'd expect to be doing it for the Trans American Trail, right? And, uh, you know, he passed me on this road we're on now, which is, I haven't seen anybody, anybody else except for him. And, uh, you know, he went flying by, you know, just, just to haul on it. Right? I don't know if he was uh, trying to outrun this weather or what, because it wasn't raining at that moment. Or what? I hadn't seen him, and he just went back by. Right? Going the other direction where he just came from. And what I'm hoping isn't the case is that further up the road from here, there's a tree across the road. And that's why he couldn't get by, so he's having to backtrack. I do have a chainsaw uh, for occasions like that. However, it is raining pretty good, and I don't feel like getting drenched just to clear a tree. So, hopefully that's not the case, but if it is, it is. So, And if I do have to backtrack, because if it's something, you know, un unpassable, or right, even if you're using a chainsaw, whatever, it's going to be a, a long ride back out just to get down to uh, a, a normal road from where I'm at right now. Well, I found a tree across the road, but uh, it's not really across the road to the point you can't get past it. It just uh, looks like it's been here for a little while, but drive right under it, so that's, that's yeah, keep hoping. So it looks like the road was clear. Uh, I don't know if that guy was just out riding around or what, but he really looked like he was part of uh, you know a rider for the tat. So I came all the way down to here. Um, it was the intersection just a minute ago, so. If it was blocked, you'd think it would have rerouted instead of going all the way back through where we went through. Well, looks like I found that it's a tree. If it's not that big, I should be able to just drag it out of the way or just run it over, one of the two. So I just made it to camp tonight for my second night, and uh, this is not your um, typical campsite. There's a little bit of a uh, uphill section right here. Camera doesn't do any justice, but just up here, after this little bit of a hump and a little bit of mud, there is a really nice spot. It's flat, well hidden. Not like anybody's around anyway, it's still on a forest service road. So there ain't nobody around anyways. So right over there's the road, and here's my spot. Yeah, I like it. Uh, wouldn't recommend it if you don't have skid plates. I definitely scraped my skid plates coming over the, the hump. And you had to be sure to uh, go when you were going, or else uh, you wasn't going to make it. All right, let me uh, get something to eat for tonight, settle down, and relax, and get rid of these friggin' flies. So, see you guys tomorrow.